Howdy folks, I'm Scorth, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome to episode 1 of Mortal Kombat 10, or X, or XL, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm glad to be playing this game, I'm finally getting around to it. I've been wanting to play it for a little while because I've already played Mortal Kombat vs. DC and MK9, which DC really isn't directly linked to the Mortal Kombat series, I think it's not even part of the lore. Excuse the camera a second. But it looked like it was a little dusty on top, I had to fix it real quick, sorry. Um, uh, but I have played Mortal Kombat 9 it is on the old channel um, but if you guys want me to play it again or even play Mortal Kombat vs. DC again I don't mind doing that because like I said in the final um, the final vlog I did on the old channel on the old Crimson Renegade gaming channel um, when we split the channels I had said I was probably going to do some games over again now that I actually have a face cam um, and I, I do intend to do some of that um, I'm not sure which ones I want to do though, so I kind of need your guys' opinion. If you guys want me to play MK vs. DC and or MK9 again, uh, for this channel, let me know and I'll be glad to do that. But let's get to this game, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy X, <laughs> Mortal Kombat X, sorry. Uh, yeah, brightness is fine, screen just is fine. Audio experience, you yeah, know, whatever. Alright, first, let me go into my options here, what the this hell? This is the Mortal Kombat Faction. You will now join one of five factions comprised of Mortal Kombat X players from around the world in a persistent online battle for Earth Realm supremacy. By simply playing Mortal Kombat X, you contribute points to your faction. After each war, the faction with the highest score is crowned Faction Champion, earning rewards for all of its members. Faction. Brutal. Choose your faction. And I want to pick one right now, though. Okay, well, it's going to make me. I guess I might as well. Secret order formed by the Thunder God Raiden in the Shaolin. White Lotus is populated by the finest martial artists around the world. Their sole purpose is to hone their skills preparation for the MK tournament. Okay, so that's uh, Liu Kang and Raiden's people. Special Forces is obviously going to be like Jax and uh, Sonya. The Special Forces military group formed to defend the United States from its most dangerous enemies. After the Outworld invasion, they expanded their influence to encompass the entire world, utilizing state-of-the-art technology. They protect Earthrealm from threats beyond our reality. Brotherhood of Shadow. Hailing from the evil nether realm, the Brotherhood of Shadow is a ruthless, secretive organization that has abandoned free will to serve the fallen elder god Shinnok, first seen in Mortal Kombat 4. Using dark magic to resurrect fallen warriors, their ranks grow with each conflict, and the nefarious goals come closer to realization. Cutthroat criminal organization, the Black Dragon, per perpetrates the most violent and brutal cr crimes imaginable. Assassination, robbery, and black market weapons trafficking are among their known offenses. All members of the Black Dragon clan are currently wanted by the Special Forces for crimes against humanity. So, obviously Kano. And the Lin Kuei, obviously Sub-Zero and his guys. Uh, once a secretive warrior clan, the Lin Kuei have been reformed by their new Grand Master Sub-Zero. They now focus their considerable power on Earthrealm's protection. Among the most powerful warriors earned the right to call themselves Lin Kuei. Um, I always thought Sub-Zero was kind of a, no pun intended, a cool character. I really didn't mean the, I, the pun was really not meant to be there. But I know there are other characters in the uh, Lin Kuei that I like as well, like Cyrax and Sector, the two robots. Um, well, they were robots in MK3 and whatever. I guess I'll go with Lin Kuei. If I, if I really have to pick one, I'll go with that, I guess. Create and link a future rating skin. Not right now. All right, what I want to do is I'm going to go to options down here and set my options. So I'll do that off screen real quick and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, went ahead and got my settings, so I turned off the music like I always do, and I've already explained the reasons why in other videos. Alright, let's go ahead and go one player. And, as always, I'll be doing the story mode, just like I have in the previous Mortal Kombat's. And that's the only reason I play this game on this channel, is just for the story mode. The uh, the tournament modes and all that, I have no interest in doing. I'm not good enough at fighting games. Do you think you'll find you'll see that in this game, I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be several, several, several times I'll have my ass kicked. Um, if there are any other fighting games that have story modes similar to the way Mortal Kombat does it, I might do them on the channel. But as far as I know, 
MK versus DC, MK9, and MK10 are the only ones that have that type of storyline. Um, so, but if I, if I find out others have uh, similar storytelling type uh, formats, I might play them here. Otherwise, we're just going to get to Mortal Kombat 10. So here we go. New game. I already put the captions on, so in case I'm talking over the uh, conversation, you can actually read what's going on. But most of the part, during cutscenes, I'll try to... ...turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. This is probably an MK4 reference. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earth Realm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earth Realm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder God's rules. The war moved to the arena. Oh, Johnny Cage. His fighters ...to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Um, I'm going to let this go on. If you always want to continue reading the, the cutscene while this is going on, while I'm mentioning this, I want to bring something up here. Um, okay. Um, there are some characters that died in Mortal Kombat 9, and I've seen those characters in the tournament mode of this game, and I wonder if they're brought back in the story mode, how they do that, so I'm kind of curious. I'm trying to remember what characters were killed. I mean, obviously Shao Kahn died. But there are others that I was curious about who died and how they're going to bring them back. We'll probably get the answer in the cutscenes here, so I'm just going to shut up. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Which we kind of figured, for those who have seen the end of MK9, no spoilers intended. Well, spoilers are going to happen regardless. But uh, for those who've uh, played MK9 or saw my playthrough of MK9, um, we know we saw Shinnok at the end of it. Ouch! So is this Shinnok's invasion now? Well, uh, he lost his head. Yeah, I just made a stupid pun. Oh, nice. Chapter 1 Johnny Cage. Destination, dead ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? Is that supposed to be Sonya? All right. You have the rendezvous coordinates. Far into Sounds the like it. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple, where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons, blind guys with magic swords. Oh, look, it's, uh... The world has changed. Uh... For the worst, fuck, I forgot his name. <laughs> from Raiden's temple. Been a while. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate Kenshi, you that's the thing. allowing us to join you. My bad. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the nether realm. Kenshi was actually a DLC character for 9, I think. Well, we know what that is. You know how to drive, Johnny? Someone tells you I'm about to play. Yep, I'm a scorpion. I knew it. Damn. 
Why? Yeah, the only reason I knew about that is because, uh... <laughs> okay, I'll get the... I'll tell you in it. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, that's a different button. <laughs> oh, damn it quickly. <laughs> Anybody want to help me out? Like, Sonya maybe? Okay, that works. <laughs> Who's this? Who the hell? New, uh, is that, uh, okay, that's Sub-Zero. Oh, is this supposed to be... Oh, shit, hit the wrong button. Is that noob? <laughs> hey. Interesting to start this game with quick time events. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Beep. Those things come up quick. You gotta be you gotta be ready for them. Damn. X. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, classic uh, classic Johnny move there. And Kenji just threw him out. A. Hey. And he's out. Almost. <laughs> Damn him and that harpoon. <laughs> Unless it's just a chain hanging out of the. Okay. Uh, what? He just vanished. Night night. Should be out for a while. The reason I'm getting back into this game now, as opposed to playing a little bit later, I had some other games planned. The reason I'm getting into it now is because, uh... Okay. I want to pause... I want to pause. Okay, I can't pause this game. This sucks. Alright, well, I'm about to find out how I can do well, so I can't pause the game. Anyway, I guess I can explain what I'm playing. Um, Zara uh, had re recently watched uh, what they call a movie where they take the cutscenes of the game and uh, just cut out all the, take out all the gameplay and uh, 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 just basically play all the cutscenes in one long video. Well, she had recently watched that video, even though she hadn't... Put, oh, shit. Hadn't played Mortal Kombat. Uh, she just watched the video, because she was kind of bored, I guess, or whatever. And she wants to tell me about it, but I told her I haven't played 10 yet, so I didn't want any spoilers. It didn't even say round one, round two, fight. It just started getting right into it, which is kind of interesting. Well, I thought that's not a grab button or anything. Oh, crap. He Did he, did he throw two harpoons at me? Ow, ow. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. Okay, uh, X. Alright, how do I, wait, how do I, how do I... Okay, I don't know what I did, I was trying to do something there. Alright, he's out. Gotta get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! Oh, he's frozen. Quick time event again. And the reason I knew about the quick time event was because uh, she'd actually told me that uh, there was quick time events in the cutscenes that she watched. Otherwise, I probably would have lost that first quick time event against uh, Scorpion there in that, in that curly cutscene. Only because she told me about the... Uh, Oh, it's Unbreakable Sub-Zero. What the hell? Unless this is... I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know why it's a Sub-Zero at all. Damn it. I thought I set this thing on extremely easy. I'm still almost getting my ass kicked already. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. What is that? Why is that shining? Why is the car shining? Oh, I can, use, I can bounce off the car. That's it. I think you can actually interact with the environment. That's kind of interesting. Okay, there's round one. I 
still haven't learned many of his well, any any of his moves actually. Oh, ow. <laughs> uh, yeah, if, it, if not been for Zerify telling me, ow, he threw a car engine at me, or was it a trans? I know he threw something heavy at me. Oh shit, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to talk to him, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, those QTEs I would have known about it had Zara not told me that uh, they were in uh, like the movie that she had watched. <laughs> I enjoy watching those movies sometimes if it's a game that I've already played and I just like want to watch the... I don't want to watch like a full Let's Play or something. I'll just watch somebody uh, do those cutscenes. Just for, you know, just something to watch or something to listen to. Ow. Okay, let's uh, not have him kick my ass so hard now. Let's try this. Okay, this must be... there. Okay, that's what I thought it was. That's will finish him. Alright, good. That was an X-ray. Okay, I remember the X-ray from uh, nine. I just remember the buttons I needed for it. Okay, so I guess Sub Zero did change uh, sides. Jump thirty times in one match. <laughs> okay, good for me. You okay? We fared better than the men. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Sonya looks really different than she did now. Well, uh, well, no, I think Johnny Cage looks about the same. Sonya looks a bit different than she did in 9, I think. Oh, it's Raiden. And... I have no idea who that other guy is. Actually, he does look familiar. Is that Fujin from Mortal Kombat 4? You lost an ear? Some pretty strong rain. He always got very perceptive, he didn't realize there's a guy behind him. Uh oh. Oh, there goes his arm. Ouch. Uh oh, Wayne's getting mounted. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, he's gonna have another vision of the past again? Okay. Last time he was on his back like that, he had a vision. We must re fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is. That's right, it is Fujin. What the hell? A green skull that had to be Quan Chi. The mighty gods of Earthrealm. I love his voice you actor. These hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. I love Raiden's voice actor too. I've heard it in other games, but I like his voice actor too. Quan Chi, it's an awesome voice. Oh, that's Cabal, uh, Striker, and Sindel. A life worse than. One you will soon share, and my lord himself shall witness your fall. Okay. Those are obviously monks of the White Lotus, I bet. I don't know why that voice was so quiet. Jax has changed sides too? Nightwolf is- oh that's right he died- he died too. Nightwolf died in uh, 9. Huh. He died in 9 fighting Sindel. That was Jax. I didn't see- I think the other one was Smoke. But he disappeared like Smoke, no pun intended. Well, that's- you know, that, that's probably Smoke there. But I don't- Wait a minute. Yeah, Smoke died too. He took uh, Sindel's uh, boot to the chest and actually, pen actually penetrated his chest. So Smoke died there. Smoke. Smoke is dead. I am an Indra. Okay, so you're not Smoke. I don't remember Jax dying though. I have to actually go back and play mine just to remember who died. It's been too long since I played. This is your last mission, son. 
I really don't remember Jax dying. Oh, here we go. The real Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. And here we go. That looked like it was about to be a major attack. Good thing I got up there and got that uppercut in there. Looked like he was about to do something really hurt that might hurt a lot. Now that's the first movie he's actually been able to commit. Oh, I got a flawless. Wow. Don't get used to that. Don't get used to that uh, term, flawless victory, in, in this uh, game. Believe me, it won't happen very often, even on super easy. Ow. RB. Okay, just, he just bounces off it. I was hoping he might actually pick up the stump or something and move it. I don't know any special moves. I, could, I, I can't even pause and pull up a list because it doesn't have a fucking pause button. Oh shit! This is gonna hurt. Uh. Okay, that was kind of random. He just stopped. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Punch. Oh, he locked it. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Ah, I got him. This should do a lot of damage. And, okay. It gets us so about even on the health bar. Oh, back up, back up, back up. You'll probably tell from the way I, I fight, I like doing a lot of aerial attacks. I like fighting from the air a lot. I reached level two. Yay. We're gonna fix you. I like doing a lot of flying attacks, flying kicks, jumps and stuff. I don't like fighting a lot down low near the ground. So if you've got enemies that are good at fighting in the air, I'm going to lose against them. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. So Johnny Cage went from actor to joining the Special Forces. Interesting. That the elevator? Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. I guess Sento is his sword. Could they hurry the hell up? So far, I'm liking the way the story's being told. Yes, we're now entering, we're heading to Outworld or another realm. You guys stay here. Close the door. Oh, that's right. Ray, uh, right, uh, right, uh, Fujin was uh, a, used wind, didn't he? That's right. I've be played very little Mortal Kombat Four. <laughs> I guess we're about to see the entrance of our uh, enemy now. Yep. Recognize that from a fatality from Mortal Kombat 4. You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. Oh, that doesn't look good. I was about to pull his shoulders out, because that was going to be really bad. You know, it's amazing how much damage a, uh, a Mortal Kombat character can take and still be able to fight. 
Put two hook, hook swords in the back of your shoulder uh, blades and see if you're very able to do anything. Okay, what do you just do to... Yeah, Striker's dead. That's no surprise. Oh, there's a scream. There's a problem. <laughs> nice last second comeback for everybody. <laughs> Nobody believes in fighting fair, huh? What is this? What was that? Some kind of medallion? I can make a Kingdom Hearts 2 reference here, but I won't. Will not touch the Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth. I'll dare. And now you're being sucked into some portal? Okay, who kicked it? Who's Who just kicked him in the back? Okay, we arrived. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> nice call. Significant speck of feculent scum. How dare you? Don't just stare at it, Raiden. Go for it. That is mine. It's not a couple of children. That's mine. Give it back. <laughs> yeah, we all know bullets are gonna work. Oh, we got QTEs coming, I bet. I just got a bad feeling. Damn. <laughs> she not even trying. <laughs> oh, was this crap again? Ow, that's a spine. Uh, QTE came in a bit. Okay, he blocked it and um, lives because of that green thingy that he's got. You know, it looks like he's poisoned. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this: you don't even think of hurting her. Okay. Oh shit! I forgot. Damn it! <laughs> I keep waiting for a round one fight thing to go off whenever this, whenever this, whenever these scenes happen. I <laughs> keep forgetting that that's not happening in this game. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get back here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, he's got some regular, sh regular short range attacks. At least it looks like kind of, kind of a short, uh, kind of a shotgun type range. Nothing too aerial, so I think I should be good for. Ooh, that hurt. What is this? Oh, so we can do kind of a scorpion thing, huh? Now in four, damn it. Okay, that's a hell of a combo. In four, uh, Shinnok could actually, cut, where, whereas uh, Shang Tsung could become enemies, Shinnok could actually just use enemies of uh, other characters' abilities. Like with a certain button press combination, he would suddenly be able to. Fuck! Keep waiting for that fight thing to go off. I want to get my ass kicked for it. Um, in four, you would you would do a certain button combination, then you'd hear like the announcer go Sub Zero, and then Shinnok would start being able to use Sub Zero's moves. God damn it! Okay, so I was wrong about having multiple uh, long range attacks. Come on, get close enough to do this. There we go. That'll hurt your jaw. That'll hurt your skull. And the nice backflip to the already broken jaw. <laughs> I got it down to half health, so that's good. Kind of even the match a little bit. Oh, duck. Oh, I'm walking into that punch. Uppercut. Okay, there we go. Airborne kick. There we go. That does it. You really are a fallen elder god. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I knocked him down, so he fell. Got it. Okay, very funny. Johnny Cage, the amulet. So now he traps Shinnok in it. And I'm going to guess now we have to figure out some way to... Now we have to figure out some way to keep him in there or he escapes somehow or something. Did we? Yeah. We got him. 
remain here. The chamber's properties will heal Sonya Blade in short order. Convenient. Convenient healing chamber is convenient. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kenshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. <laughs> yeah, the Elder Gods were so helpful to Mortal Kombat 9. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Twenty years later, them descended from some Mediterranean war cult, bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that, or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a halo in Darfur, or Iran, or Kurdistan, did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. But at ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. There's the next generation of fighters that says on the box. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. And I'm glad the Shirai Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. Was Shirai Ryu? Isn't that Scorpions? As the secretary Clan? pointed out, us older folks are going to retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission... You're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. Okay, so this is 20 years... This is now the present, I guess. So we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with our world. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does. But he's facing a civil war. The Rebels win... Those accords will be his. Reiko. Wasn't that another character from a Final Fantasy game? Uh, I don't know why I keep saying Final Fantasy. Mortal Kombat character? Reiko? Miko? Reiko? Chapter 2, Kotal Khan. I guess this is more. This is Shao Kahn's replacement. I like this guy on the left here. I know I know some of the characters. The guy on the left there, the cowboy. I like him. <laughs> There's Kotal Khan. What's the expression? Oh, Kano. It's not worth it. Now, I know some of these characters from watching like the 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 fighting. I've seen like some fatality videos and stuff. So I know some of these characters by name, but not by the story. I know that she's someone a bug chick or something. But that uh, that cowboy that I showed you, I, I like him. Melina. Immediately, end this conflict. As you say, it drains. Us. Uh, speaking of Melina, there's rain. Rain. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? Oh, her name is Devora. Not be concerned. Accidents ahead. This one will clear it. So there's a civil war going on. Between uh, Kotal Khan and Melina, who supposedly Melina is directly descendant of Shao Kahn. We await your order. Who the hell is that? Tanya. That's Tanya. Okay. Is nothing. Killing an emperor. False emperor. Requires power. Power you have, Melina, and won't use. Ooh. You got told by Rain. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. How did she end up with that? Came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. 
Oh, so Kano is actually a double agent. Ermac's sure taking his time moving things. Ermac's the other guy. There comes the Tarkatan attack. Ermac looks just, looks just badass as ever. <laughs> and there's Aaron Black, the, gun, the, the cowboy. I like him. What I, what, what I saw in the, the fights, I like him. I like his moves and stuff. He's a he's a dual gunner. He's a cowboy kind of kind of character. And she's a spider bug person. She reminds me of a very ugly, hideous, infested character from StarCraft. That's another game I intend to play at some point. You seem a little stressed there, Kotal. Um. Oh shit, here we go. Why? <laughs> I had a feeling there was going to be some QTEs coming. So was, we we're in too small an area for it to actually be a fighting zone. Urgh, cut that Why? Okay. Can I pause here? I can't pause here either. Shit. I need at some point to pause. Oh fuck, I hit the wrong button. Hey. Ooh, okay, that's gonna hurt. I need to be able to pause at some point because I got other things I need to do. I need to, like, end this episode, for example. Goddamn, I hit the wrong button again. Ow, laser to the chest. That hurts. B. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like he's gonna need two uh, uh, eye lasers now. X. Oh. X. Out the window he goes. Punch. Punch. Some more of that. Oh darn. <laughs> Wind and air. Keep yeah, that means he farted on you. Melina's given me twice that to take you out. And now we get to the actual combat. All right, here we go. Ouch, that didn't work. Okay, this guy is this guy is very slow. This is gonna be a problem. Ow. Kotal Khan is extremely slow moving. This is gonna be a bit of an issue because I'm not used to slow characters. I just hope that in the pace of them being slow, they deliver a lot of power with their hits. Come on, damn it! Get up, uppercut. Pause. Is there? Okay, there's. Okay, how do I do that? Do I have to just? Okay, I hold down the pause button. Good, good. Okay. Apologize for that fight getting in there a little bit. I actually wanted to pause here because I need to end this episode. So I'm gonna do just like I did with um, uh, in the other Mortal Kombat games. Each chapter will be an episode. So unless one chapter happens to be only like five minutes long, I intend to make each chapter an episode. So. That was the last chapter with Johnny Cage, so the next episode will be Kotal Khan. And you'll see Kotal Khan in the next episode of Mortal Kombat 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and I'll see you later.